Hello guys, Lukash here, and today we have a review on my Peugeot 207 HDI uh, 1.6. Um, as you can see, we've got the side here, just going to do a quick overview. Uh, Probably had this... F oh, holy shit, it's locked by itself. Anyway, I've got the keys with me. Uh, I put me... Sorry for the swearing. I probably had it for um, 10 weeks now, so this is just a quick one, because uh, literally this is all the time I've had sort of to do it. Here we go, here's an overview. Um, that's how your two, this is how my 207 looks like. Right, I'm going to open it up again. Key, normal key, flip, do that, and yep, all of that jazz. Right, we're hopefully going to go in now. Here's the inside, um, just zipping up the pocket so I don't lose the keys and lock myself out. Here's the key, um, it hasn't been started today so it's still fogged up in here. Five speed manual, as normal. Sorry for line conditions, it is actually starting to sun deck, but literally this is the winter the last of my first review and I, thought, or, and I sort of thought of my last review was in the summertime. So sorry for the lighting conditions because literally this is all the time I practically have to do this as my dad still is a little bit not just of let me do it. If you're watching this I'm very sorry to let you know but I have blurred out your number plates. <laughs> um, we've got normal radio. This is the, the Bluetooth version so this has Bluetooth. Glove box, decent size. It's not actually, it's quite small. It's definitely smaller than my 406 that I had that I sold about 10, well it's a little less than that but about Four weeks ago, heading up to six now, and here's your back. There isn't a big light here, except one there and one at the front. So in the middle here isn't that lighted it off, but I gotta say it's enough to see. Uh, but yeah, that's the interior. Sorry if it's slightly struggling, but but I hope if you follow some of my blogs and stuff, I do actually have a video of me picking up the car in a bit of a more delighted photo. I'll put a link in the description. Wow, my camera is really struggling. Here's the back of the car. The boot is actually quite big. Um, we have the boot. Um, there's the boot. It's quite big one. I have a, a basket there that has all the bags and stuff so it, it's not all falling out and crumbling. It keeps the boot just that little bit more tidier. That's that. And yeah, one thing I forgot to say is there's, even if you're back in, I'm quite a tall person, like just, I've never shown my face in my reviews before, but I'm quite a tall person. And even this, I can, I struggle to get in a Volvo S60, but in this, I have plenty of foot room here. And that is my legs, and my legs are about there, it's because the huge seats are dark, though, so it's getting quite dark overall. Uh, but this is a little bit further back, but even just that, I've still got plenty of foot room as this one is a little bit foot forward. So overall, can't complain. That's pretty damn good. Um, uh, it has had five new doors. That probably doesn't sound that good as this is only four years old. But sadly, this it has really low mileage. It's a good thing, but it's done a lot of sitting around. It looks like, and the water's got around and it, it rusted out some of the doors. Um, this has got slight of a squeak sound. If I stay quiet, even after door replacement bit funny but they must not have replaced the hinges uh here's that here's the um passenger side still even with the styrene it stays still same as dry still still plenty of space sorry it's so fogged up in here i haven't shown the radio in action uh, there's the act uh, there's there's the radio dashboard again just it's a little bit more clear those are your door cards by the way uh and there's there's your gauges and stuff I, uh, you'll have to excuse me um um, but yeah, he's here are the seats. I do like the um, sort of half different colour scheme. It does make it look a little bit more sporty than it actually really is. Um, <laughs> I gotta say. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's that. I'm gonna show you under the bonnet. I don't know if I did it in the last one, but I'm gonna do it now as I actually haven't had a look at it since we've uh, got it back. And I suppose it actually would be a good idea to have a look. I don't actually know where the bonnet release is on this one. I'm, I'm guessing it's on this side now because before it was on the right from the last Peugeot I had except it there is a big few years were apart there we go I heard oh nice it sounds like an electronic one uh, I don't know if this has if I can't uh, there we 
we go. That's the bonnet. It's got these ones hasn't got one of those bonnet struts thing when it holds it up. Uh, I've got to put the pin in, but here's the bonnet. Here's underneath. Yeah, I think it looks good after the repair. I think it's how it should be. Very nice. I'm, I'm just going to shut this back down. Okay, that's good because I don't want to slam it. I want to be careful with this car as I haven't had it for that long. Um, so yeah, there's the inside. And i got to say, the car is really good. Uh, for, for not having that long, the maintenance, it had a full service when it came in. For, from the dealer's side of stuff, it was a little bit messed up. But uh, apart from that, the dealership was really good. They were really kind. But it was just a bit messed up when we picked it up because the times we arranged was like another two hours later. Um, well, three, roughly. Uh, but they have got the wear alloy wheels. They are quite nice. And the tyres did have quite a good amount of tread on because of the mileage. It was actually really good. Um, this is the diesel version, as I've already said. But, yeah, I will have a... If any updates of the car or any questions you may have, I will try to answer them. Uh, the fuel comedy is really good. We For the actual re recovery car we had um, when this was being repaired, uh, it probably doesn't sound that good, but anyway, I'm going to say, uh, this was one of those uh, Volkswagen Ups, and that had very awful fuel comedy. This actually, even with this having a bigger engine, um, the fuel comedy is so much better than that red polo. If it's actually probably will surprise most people, but it is very true. I'm very sad to say for young drivers, forget about red, uh, for polos, but I'm sad to say if you don't have a lot of money, then this is the wrong car for you because for the fuel we put in, it is just ridiculous on fuel. I gotta say, more like this. This will last for a week on a week and a half on fuel. That thing you will fill it up practically from full for near enough five days and you would have to fill it up again and that was only near enough commute to it and then even if my dad uh, from my house um it's a six mile journey roughly and it was not good off fuel so if you got any farther to your job or anything even this you definitely don't want to get one of those but anyway this is for the four 207 not for that um <laughs> but yeah this is the 207 i'm not going to start the car up right now because i'm not going anywhere and it actually hasn't been started up all day so as not traveling you want to leave the engine to warm up and i'm not going anywhere i know so at the moment i'm too young to drive um <laughs> But uh, yeah, that was my quick sort of overview and slight review. If you've got any more questions to answer, because I actually this is just a quick out of the blue one. If you have any questions to ask Oven, please comment down below and I'll try to answer them. But uh, as always, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks for the quick review. I, uh, do, if you have any better ways of improving this or anything when I, in the summer when I get some better lighting and stuff like that, then please let me know. All right, thank you for watching. Thanks for thanks for watching. Don't forget to come and like and subscribe. Thank you for your time. Cheers.